The Obama administration this morning is moving forward with the Iran nuclear deal. Senate Republicans Thursday conceded defeat after losing one final vote. But House Speaker John Boehner is considering legal action. 60 Minutes correspondent Steve Croft just returned from Tehran. He spoke with Iran's president. This is Hassan Rouhani's first interview with a Western journalist since July's agreement. Here is a preview of Sunday's report. I'm sure you realize that it is difficult uh, for many Americans to get past the fact that President Obama has signed an agreement with a country that says death to America, death to Israel. How do you explain this? What are they to make of it? Are they to take it literally? Is this for domestic internal Iranian political um, consumption? Uh, wh what are Americans to make of it? The language. This slogan that is chanted is not a slogan against the American people. Our people respect the American people. The Iranian people are not looking for war with any country. But at the same time, the policies of the United States have been against the national interests of Iranian people. It's understandable that people will demonstrate sensitivity to this issue. When the people rose up against the Shah, the United States aggressively supported the Shah until the last moments. In the eight-year war with Iraq, the Americans supported Saddam. People will not forget these things. We cannot forget the past, but at the same time, our gaze must be towards the future. Steve Croft is here. Good morning. Charlie, good morning. Good morning. Uh, so let's take a look at what the president said. Does he talk about, or what did he say about Iranians' reaction to the deal? Well, it, there's been as much ferocious negative comments about the deal in Iran as there have been here in the United States. I'm not sure most people realize that, but it's been, um, you know, the hardliners and various groups and factions that have benefited from this long situation with the United States are upset about some of the possibilities of change. There are two things really being said. There's what Ayatollah is saying, which is still very hard line, and there, uh, Rouhani and others are saying, which is much more moderate, and I think both of them are talking to their different constituencies within but, the but, country. But the Ayatollah does support the deal, even though he's Obviously hard line about support. things beyond the deal. Yes, yeah. absolutely, and, and believes, and I think the Rouhani, uh, President Rouhani believes that he will approve it, and that uh, what's going on in the bitter debate, expected to be a pretty bitter debate in the parliament next week, regardless of what happens, that the deal is going to go through what and would, that the hardliners will fall in line. What was your sense being there about what this means for the future of U.S.-Iranian relations? Well, it, you know, it, it's very hard to say. I think the Iranians want to go very slowly. Um, on one hand, you have the Ayatollah saying there's going to be no future cooperation on anything other than this deal, mm -hmm. but you're in a situation where you still have some coordination going on right now between the Shiite uh, Muslims in, in, in Iraq and U.S. air support. Mm -hmm. uh, there's probably a role for the United States in Syria or United States and Iran to discuss, and I'm sure there are back channel negotiations going now, on now mm -hmm. to, to talk about what's going on in Syria. Do you think there will be any opportunities for American investment in that region? Um, I think the opportunities are, are there, or will be there. It will be interesting to see how, uh, whether they're taken advantage of. Um, President Rouhani essentially rolled out the red carpet and said, you know, tourism, you know, we'd love to have Americans over here. We'd like for Americans to go or for Iranians to go to America. We think that that will help bolster the relationship. Very, you know, remarkable change between Rouhani and Ahmadinejad. A lot has happened there in the last couple of years. I'm really interested to see your interview. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. You can watch Steve's full report Sunday on 60 Minutes. See the challenges President Rouhani faces on the nuclear deal inside Iran, as we talked about. That is Sunday here on CBS.